Hello everyone, this is Sensuous One, and I'm going to show, we'll do a little quick tutorial today on making a gift bag, a um, customized gift bag, or a gift, whatever, just a bag um, so you can store stuff in it or make bags for swaps. Um, my intentions were to find a bag tonight to hold these items. These are going to be some... Um, Uh, what do you call it? Like a little thank you. It's going in a package. And I didn't have a bag that was big enough. So I decided to use my fuse tool and see if I can create one. So I'm going to do it with you guys and hopefully it works. I have some ideas in my head so I'm going to try to put them together. So I'm going to start with, um, like I said, the sheet protector. I have this piece of um, chipboard which is kind of like my template for the size of the bag that I need and also to help me keep a straight line <laughs> so I'm gonna put it on here I'm gonna line it up about where the um, the other seam is and keep it straight try to keep it straight and then use my fuels tool to um, seal the edge on this side so I'm going to start down here. Look, and I moved it. And I said I want to keep a straight line. I would use the other little piece, but I don't know. I just thought this would help me keep the line better. And I did it on top of this um, piece of board, so it messed up my mat. So it did fuse. And my line is pretty straight. And then I'm going to trim it down to size. I wonder if I put it in my cutter. If it'll cut it straight for me. Let me move this fuse tool before I burn myself. Alright, put that out away. And let me see. I use my paper trimmer. I have it under my desk. I can use it to cut this straight. I've never cut plastic on here. I hope it works. It'll give me a better um, gauge as far as cutting it as close to the line as I can. Okay, yeah. Voila. So, oops, I bumped the camera. So, put that there, and I'm going to trim it down on the top. I'll just freehand it. Well, no, I'm going to put, no, yeah, I'm going to cut it first. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just trying to pull all of my um, thoughts together. I'm going to use this piece of cardboard here. As my guide, and hopefully, I didn't make the bag too small. We'll see. All right, now I'm going to insert my items. Yeah, I think it's going to be big enough. Put these inside here, and um, I don't have a topper. But I kind of created a topper um, by using just a piece of scrap um, cardstock. I can't do two at a time, obviously. Now I did put it in here earlier, let me see. And it looked like it was going to fit. But guess what? That was before I fused it. But I think it's still alright. It'll be in there like that. So anyway, what I did was I took a piece of um, cardstock 
and I used my Martha Stewart punch and just punched on both sides, um, folded in a half, matching up the two sides, and just um, used my bone folder, <coughs> bone folder, excuse me, to um, you know, give it a crease. So I'm thinking it's fine like that. I'll probably put. I'll probably put a staple in the bag. Hopefully you can see it. Am I in frame? I hope so. I'll put a staple there just for some added stability as far as keeping the bag together. And I'm sorry I'm like fumbling with this because this is like my first time doing it. I'm just going to put it on the two ends. And where's the other piece that I cut off? This piece. I can probably use this as my um my guide to cut this down to size. So I'll probably cut it. Probably cut it about there. I'm just trying to see where I, I wanted the pattern, what part of the pattern I was going to cut. Oh, my light went off. Hope you can still see. Nope. I don't know what happened. Oh, I kicked the plug. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so I had some technical difficulties. Let's try and get back to where I was doing. Um, I started with putting this piece, well, getting this piece ready that I used to cut out. And my idea is that it's going to go on top of my bag, like so. I think before I cut the other side down, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on. Because I don't want to cut it too short. <laughs> and then I'll have to do it again. So it's, yeah, it's on the bag. I'm going to staple it right there. And staple this side. Put my hands aren't in the way. I know it's a lot of shadows, but I don't know. I started this last night, and then I kind of got off track. So now I'm going to just trim it right to right where the bag is. Um, probably about there. And it makes like a little cute gift bag. Maybe if I turn the flash on my phone. I don't know. I'm trying to get the lighting right here without making the shadow. But anyway, this is what the little bag looks like. Really cute. And I just took some um, stamps that I had. Let's see where is it? Here it goes. Alright, so I used this um, thank you stamp set and I just stamped out the word thank you on there. So this is going to be like a little um, thank you for purchasing all my D-stashes. So, let me get me a glue dot out of here. I'll just use glue dots in case the person wants to, um, you know, reuse it maybe. I don't know. Recycle it. Repurpose it. <laughs> I hope it's not too big. I didn't even measure it. I just had this idea in my head and I just, I just went with it. So I'm going to, how do I want to do it? I want to put this on first. So this one is the one that says thank you, and I already put the, the dots on the back when I was thinking about what I was going to do. So I'm just trying to peel these off really quick. All right. Peel those off. Center that on the middle of here.
and then pull out the ones on the back side. And my idea at first was to stick it on top of the bag, but it's kind of big. So I think I'm just going to stick it right here. Which I think looks perfect. So this is my customized little bag for sending little gifts or thank yous or whatever. Whatever you want to whatever you need a little bag for. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoy. Hope you found this helpful. And thank you all for watching. Bye.